What's up guys, Boris here and today I'm coming to you guys with a video on the new free to play One Piece Treasure Cruise game for the iOS and the uh, Android store and today I'm going to be covering the new dungeon which was just released today. It's called Buggy's Mega Counter Attack and I'm going to be doing the hardest of the three difficulties which is the elite difficulty and I'm going to be doing it with a dexterity team that you guys see on the screen. I got Zoro. Uh, Zef, the Green Dragon, Kabaji, and Usopp. Now, Golden Pound Usopp specifically, because he is the best unit in the game at the moment that delays your all your opponents on the screen for three turns. So that guy's definitely recommended if you're going to do any dungeon of this difficulty. So uh, the first thing you'll see uh, soon is that I will be teaming up with uh, a friend that just that I just added, who has an Asura Zoro, and uh, this guy. Azura Soro, he will double all your green characters attack and HP. So he's this guy is ridiculously overpowered at the moment. Um, he's one of the uh, one of the best leads you can have. And my Zoro is actually one level away from <laughs> from that one too. So uh, I should get him pretty soon um, after grinding this dungeon a couple more times. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start and and, and talk about um, the dungeon, and give you guys some tips. Uh, the first one right here is pretty simple. First wave, just take out the fodder characters, and then the uh, the mini boss of this wave. Uh, he's a he's a blue character, so you know he's gonna go down pretty fast. Two green characters, but he'll go down pretty fast to any characters, as, uh, any other characters as well, pretty much other than red. But um, you'll see uh, that I mean I'm doing a ton of damage because I have a times uh, three multiplier to all my green units at the moment so 1.5 from my Zoro and 2 from the other Zoro so this one again uh, more filler units but the 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 mini boss in this one's a bit harder mainly because he has a ton of armor so he tanks pretty hard and you can expect to get hit by him one or two times um, this guy has a one turn cooldown so uh, definitely try to take him out before he can attack twice but uh, you know unfortunately you know it's pretty hard to do uh, without uh, you know I don't even know if you can so um, but yeah definitely uh, this guy you know don't worry about it. if you take a couple hits you know you'll have plenty of time to heal later on I'll point when I'll point out when that is um, and then this stage three is the one that a lot of people uh, really look forward to um, unfortunately here I got six baby turtles but if you get the teenage turtles the three uh, purple teenage turtles they will get dropped uh, and they give you a ton of exp best way to farm exp for your characters at the moment um, so I took those guys out pretty fast, um, and here is uh, the first sort of uh, hard stage, although it really isn't that hard. Um, you know, again, just take out the fodder units, and then Kabaji, the, the, the sort of the thing about him, again, he has a one turn cooldown. So you want to take him out as fast as possible, try to take him out in one turn, or two if you can, to avoid taking too much damage. Um, again, you, you'll see here that, you know, my, my, my team does so much damage because of the three times multiplier, uh, that I take this guy out i think and like i barely take him out like i have he has like one or two hp left you know just like a sliver of, of health but uh you know nothing too much to worry about because of asura zoro i can tank a lot of hits uh, i have a lot of e uh, hp because my hp is doubled so and this stage uh again this one is one of the easier ones just take out the fodder characters and then take out the mini boss um the, the interesting thing will be coming up uh, pretty soon and um, yeah <laughs> I mean I'm just gonna get through this one real quick again uh, if you, I, I, I'll say something right now while, um, while it's going on but definitely try to get uh, Golden Pound Usopp if you can before you do this dungeon Golden Pound Usopp you get by you know you get Usopp through the story and then if you do the evolution that involves the crab the yellow crab then you'll get him so pretty easy um, here you have to kill the archer or he'll hit you he'll kill you in one shot no matter what so I know that I can take him out in three turns. That's why I go for the other unit first. But if you don't know that you can take him out in three turns, definitely go all out against him and take a couple hits from the smaller unit. It, it'll be fine because you'll get seven turns to heal later on. Um, and I'll, I'll right after this turtle attacks or this crab attacks, um, I'll let you know why. But um, yeah, th this is the crab I'm telling you. Try, try to get it to drop and you can evolve your Usopp into Golden Pound Usopp. So see now that crab attacked and there's a seven turn cooldown. So this uh, allows you to sort of farm for meat orbs to gain your health back, as well as to love a sort of farm for your special to try to get it ready for the uh, the next couple, the next two fights. So right now I'm just I'm kind of missing on purpose to try to try to like I said uh, level up my my specials, try to get them to full to max so I can use them uh, soon. I'm also trying to farm for some health orbs so I can gain some health back. And uh, again, this guy takes fixed damage. 
Uh, it takes one per hit, and most of my guys do four to five per per uh, hit or four or five hits per attack. So yeah, this guy's kind of tedious, but again, this guy, like I said, he perfect opportunity for you guys to sort of recharge and and get ready for the upcoming um, boss battle and fights. So nothing much else to say here. Should uh, one more attack should uh, finish him. Yeah. There you go. And so here's the boss. This is where Golden Pound Usopp shines because you use his uh, special right away. Uh, well, first I use Zoro's. It deals damage to everyone, which is a nice area of effect damage. And then Golden Pound, everyone has three more turns. So this gives you plenty of time to set up and you know, deal with all the minions and buggy himself. So uh, you'll see me use Zeph. Zeph is very good in green teams because he changes all your strength orbs to green orbs. So instead of doing half damage with all your characters, you use double damage. You do double damage. So it's a really, really good utility character to have in any dexterity team. So because of the double damage, I decided to try to go for Buggy. Try to see if I could take him out. But uh, it ended up failing because uh, Zoro, I missed with both <laughs> Zoros. This is the first time uh, using Asura Zoro as my teammate. And so I had no clue on his timing. Uh, so that can contribute to one of the reasons why that happened. Now, the, the thing you want to do here is just clear out the fodder minions. It's the best strategy. Like I said, don't do what I did. Um, clear out the fodder minions first. Uh, most of them go down pretty easily. Uh, the main one is the guy in the red jacket. That guy is really tanky and can pose a real problem if you don't um, get a lot of perfects and get a good chain going. So, I mean, that's really the main guy you have to watch out for. And once that guy is taken care of and the rest of the fodder characters are taken care of, then you can just focus and go all out on uh, Buggy. Now, here, uh, again, you see me trying to take out um, the two cannon guys who are left. Uh, I mean, th this guy goes down pretty easy. Um, the other guy, you need to get some good perfects um, to take him down. There you go, there's a perfect. And uh, I missed there, so barely survives, but yeah, there, <laughs> Asura Zoro special is um same thing sort of similar to zoro special just a bit stronger so that guy goes away and so now all that's left is uh buggy so buggy he's just gonna go down pretty fast as long as you get some good combos some good perfects again i miss again with both zoros uh their timing's a bit different than everyone else's so um nothing much to say here though i mean i can tank about two to three hits so i know i'm perfectly fine i know i can uh take him out uh pretty easily without having to worry too much but um yeah i mean that, this is pretty much it uh, the, uh from now, now i know that it's, it's going to be over so now i just can't wait to see you know if buggy will drop which is what everyone really hopes for fortunately i already have a buggy but uh if i get another buggy i can use them to try to upgrade my other buggy skill points which will decrease the cooldown required to create uh, to do a special in there sure enough I the buggy drops so um, so I mean this this is a this is a really good team um, definitely if you can find an Asura Zoro to pair with your green team that it would be perfect um, but uh, after this video I'm gonna be doing another video with an intelligence team doing the same thing uh, walking you through the level with an intelligence team uh, and show you how to do it with that if you if you have that so Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more One Piece news, theories, and discussions, as well as the gameplay video of uh, gameplay videos of this game, um, and more news on upcoming um, future uh, updates and stuff for One Piece Treasure Cruise. So, until next time, thanks for watching.